Number one, we're going to write an equation on the line. We want a slope-intercept equation that uh, goes through this point and is parallel to this line. Now, keep in mind, if it's parallel to this line, two lines are parallel if they have the same slope, and the slope in this line is 5. So my new equation also has to have a slope of 5. Okay. This equation has a slope in or a y-intercept of negative 3, not this one. We have to find the new y-intercept. How are we going to do it? Well, we know a point that's on the graph. This point has to work in the equation. So if I put 4 in for x and 7 for y, it has to be true. 7 equals 5 times x is 4, plus what? 7 equals 20, plus what? Solve for your y-intercept. Subtract 20 on both sides. We find out our y-intercept is negative 13. So your full equation then would be y equals the slope, which was parallel. It's going to be 5. But this line has an equation of negative 13. Another way you could do it, you could do a point-slope equation, too, if you prefer that. You could say, well, y minus my y-coordinate here is 7. The slope has to be parallel. It's 5. x minus the x-coordinate is 4. Distribute quick. You get 5x minus 20. Get y by itself. Add 7 to both sides. And y equals 5x. Negative 20 plus 7 is, oops, not plus, but minus 13, the exact same equation.